Aeacus and Telamon by Jean-Michel Moreau Lejeune. Aeacus was a mythological king of the island of Aegina in the Saronic Gulf. Aeacus was the son of Zeus by Aegina, a daughter of the river god Asopus, and thus, brother of Democritia. In some accounts, his mother was Europa and thus possible brother to Minos, Radamanthus, and Sarpedon. He was the father of Peleus, Telamon and Phocus and was the grandfather of the Trojan War warriors Achilles and Telamonian Ajax. In some accounts, Aeacus had a daughter called Alcimache who bore meat into Oileus of Locris. Aeacus' sons Peleus and Telamon were jealous of Phocus and killed him. When Aeacus learned about the murder, he exiled Peleus and Telamon. Myrmidons, people from Ants for King Aeacus, engraving by Virgil Solis for Ovid's Metamorphoses Book 7, 622-642. Aeacus was born on the island of Anoni or Enopia, where Aegina had been carried by Zeus to secure her from the anger of her parents. Afterward, this island became known as Aegina. He was the father of Peleus, Telamon and Phocus, and was the grandfather of the Trojan War warriors Achilles and Telamonian Ajax. In some accounts, Aeacus had a daughter called Alcimache who bore meat into Oileus of Locris. Aeacus' sons Peleus and Telamon were jealous of Phocus and killed him. When Aeacus learned about the murder, he exiled Peleus and Telamon. Some traditions related that, at the time when Aeacus was born, Aegina was not yet inhabited, and that Zeus either changed the ants of the island into the men over whom Aeacus ruled, or he made the men grow up out of the earth. Ovid, on the other hand, supposed that the island was not uninhabited at the time of the birth of Aeacus, instead stating that during the reign of Aeacus, Hera, jealous of Aegina, ravaged the island bearing the name of the latter by sending a plague or a fearful dragon into it, by which nearly all its inhabitants were carried off. Afterward, Zeus restored the population by changing the ants into men. These legends seem to be a mythical account of the colonization of Aegina, which seems to have been originally inhabited by Pelasgians, and afterwards received colonists from Thyatis, the seat of the Myrmidons, and from Phlius on the Esopus. While he reigned in Aegina, Aeacus was renowned in all Greece for his justice and piety, and was frequently called upon to settle disputes not only among men, but even among the gods themselves. He was such a favorite with the latter, that when Greece was visited by a drought as a consequence of a murder that had been committed, the oracle of Delphi declared that the calamity would not cease unless Aeacus prayed to the gods to end it. Aeacus prayed, and as a result, the drought ceased. Aeacus then demonstrated his gratitude by erecting a temple to Zeus Panhellenius on Mount Panhellenion, and afterward, the Aeginetans built a sanctuary on their island called Aeacium which was a square temple enclosed by walls of white marble. Aeacus was believed in later times to be buried under the altar of this sacred enclosure. A legend preserved in Pindar relates that Apollo and Poseidon took Aeacus as their assistant in building the walls of Troy. When the work was completed, three dragons rushed against the wall, and though the two that attacked the sections of the wall built by the gods fell down dead, the third forced its way into the city through the portion of the wall built by Aeacus. Thereafter, Apollo prophesied that Troy would fall at the hands of Aeacus's descendants, the Acidae, i.e. his sons Telamon and Peleus joined Heracles when he sieged the city during Laomedon's rule. Later, his great-grandson Neoptolemus was present in the wooden horse. Aeacus was also believed by the Aeginetans to have surrounded their island with high cliffs in order to protect it against pirates. Several other incidents connected to the story of Aeacus are mentioned by Ovid. By Indius Aeacus had two sons, Telamon and Peleus, and by Samothea's son, Phocus, whom he preferred to the former two sons. Both of whom conspired to kill Phocus during a contest, and then subsequently fled from their native island. Minus, Aeacus and Radamanthus by Ludwig Mack, Bildhauer after his death, Aeacus became one of the three judges in Hades and, according to Plato, was specifically concerned with the shades of Europeans upon their arrival to the underworld. In works of art he was depicted bearing a scepter and the keys of Hades. Aeacus had sanctuaries in both Athens and in Aegina, and the Aeginetans regarded him as the tutelary deity of their island by celebrating the Aeacia in his honor. In the Frogs by Aristophanes, Dionysus descends to Hades and proclaims himself to be Heracles. Aeacus, lamenting the fact that Heracles had stolen Cerberus, sentences Dionysus to Acheron to be tormented by the hounds of Cocytus, the Echidna, the Tartesian eel, and Tithrasian gorgons. Alexander the Great traced his ancestry through his mother to Aeacus. Thanks for watching.